Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all well and having a really great day so far. Long time no see. I know that it has been a little while since I last uploaded. I think it's been about two and a half months and some of that does have to do with what I'm going to be talking to you about in today's video and that's an introduction to my weight loss diary series and my week one check-in. I am going to be following the Fast 800 plan so grab yourself a drink, subscribe if you haven't already and keep on watching. In August last year I tried the Fast 800 diet for a week and I lost over £7 which is an absolutely fantastic result. I did make a video about my experience and to date that is one of the most viewed videos on my channel. I think at the moment it's got about 32,000 views on it which for a channel this size is amazing. Um, I'll link that in the description box if you want to take a look at it. A lot of people have contacted me since then to ask for an update and they wanted to know whether I kept up with the diet so I think that's probably a good place to start. I didn't continue with the Fast 800 diet but that was more to do with the mindset that I was in at the time. I don't think that I was really ready to commit to a full lifestyle change but the diet really suited me, my body seemed to respond well to it and I really enjoyed the food as well. So once I'd made the decision to lose weight I knew that this was the plan that I wanted to stick with. But before we go any further into today's video, I just wanted to make it clear that I don't have any qualifications in nutrition or personal training, so I'm not in any sort of position to give you guys advice. I'm just making these videos to share my own experience and for entertainment purposes. But if you are thinking of starting a weight loss journey, then I would always recommend consulting with your doctor. Obviously, they're aware of your medical history and they might be able to tailor advice and recommend a plan that might be suitable for you because I know in some circumstances the Fast 800 is not suitable for everybody. There are many reasons that I want and need to lose weight and I'll touch on those in a moment but losing weight is very daunting to me. It's something that I've tried to do for the majority of my life and I've never really been successful at it. The closest that I've ever gotten was in 2018 when I lost just over two stone with Slimming World. I did keep that weight off for over a year but when we went into lockdown in 2020 I found it really tough as I'm sure a lot of us did. I was working crazy hours, I was stressed and I just wasn't looking after myself at all um, and I did gain back over three stone during that time so now I'm the heaviest that I've ever been. I am scared to fail for sure and it's also very daunting to put something like this out there on the internet um, but one thing that I've really loved about YouTube since I've been uploading videos over the last couple of years is talking to you guys, having the chance to speak with people that I'd never meet in my normal life. Um, so for that reason I've decided to document this process. If you're on a weight loss journey as well, I'd love to hear from you. Maybe we could give each other some encouragement or if just watching these videos helps you to realise that you're not in it alone um, and gives you a bit of support, I'd love to think that these videos are helping somebody else. I've decided that if I'm documenting this journey, I need to be 100% honest and show you everything, the good, the bad and the ugly. I'm under no illusion about how challenging this is going to be. It's probably going to be the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life, um, but I need to be 100% real with you. I'm going to be uploading a weekly weight loss diary, probably on a Sunday. For those of you that normally watch me for beauty and makeup related content, don't worry, I'm still going to be making content like that, um, but that will be um, the uploads in the week uh, and the Sunday upload will be sort of dedicated to this weight loss journey. By far the biggest reason and motivation behind me wanting to lose weight is because my husband and I would like to start a family of our own. I have PCOS and I'm sure that I've shared that with you in the past on my channel um, but for that reason there is a possibility that I may need to have some fertility treatment. Um, but whether we're lucky enough to have a baby naturally or through fertility treatment, I know that losing weight will give me the best chance of that being successful um, so I need to make this happen. Whether or not we're fortunate enough to have a family of our own and I don't take anything for granted there because I know that it doesn't always happen for everybody, um, I still need to lose weight for myself. I think that women can look beautiful and sexy at any size but I've just never really embraced my size or felt comfortable in my own skin. 
Rebel Wilson is somebody that I really admire. I know that she's been on her own weight loss journey over the last couple of years and she's done so well. Um, you know, that just doesn't happen overnight. It takes a lot of dedication, hard work and commitment. Um, but she also has PCOS like me and I think that she decided to um, do that in order to get healthier and also for fertility reasons. But Rebel looked great at whatever size she was and what I admire most about her is that she always came across as though she was confident and comfortable in her body. Um, Lizzo is another person that springs to mind as well and I think we could do with more positive role models like them. For years now I've felt so uncomfortable and I don't have any confidence in my body at all. Um, I don't really have any interest in shopping for clothes anymore which is a real shame because that was a passion of mine. I used to love putting together outfits and had a real interest in fashion um, but I don't buy clothes because I like them anymore. I just buy them because they fit and don't look that bad. It's not like because I actually like them or they're a reflection of my own personal style. So that's something that I desperately want to get back. I want to um, feel comfortable in my own skin and that's going to come, um, I guess, from like a mental change as well as a physical change. But I do want to find my personal style and definitely start wearing things that I enjoy and actually like. I also used to love getting dressed up for special occasions, um, a really nice outfit that I felt good in, hair done, makeup done, um, but I'm just again not interested anymore um, and that does make me really sad. I find that things that I should be enjoying like going on holiday or going to weddings really stressful. Um, it's just a nightmare to find something to wear, um, something that fits that I feel good-ish in or not too bad in um, and I also really hate that people are taking your photo all the time and putting them on social media um, but I just don't want to feel like this anymore. I want to be present, I want to be in the moment um, and enjoying myself along with everybody else. I've also noticed that my fitness has taken a complete nosedive, particularly in the last two years. I'm getting out of breath just doing the housework and I'm having to stop and take a break. And I just sit there and think to myself, you're bloody 35 and you're acting like an old lady, like you need to just get your shit together because this is no way to be carrying on. Um, so definitely fitness is something else that I want to address um, as part of this journey. I've got five goals for my weight loss journey and obviously the first is to get my body ready for having a family. Um, the second is to get my weight down to a healthy BMI. Third is to improve my fitness and strength. Fourth is to find my own personal style and only wear things that I actually like. And the last one and arguably one of the most important is to feel comfortable and confident in my own skin. I think I would like to give myself some sort of reward or incentive for reaching weight loss milestones. Um, maybe every time I lose a stone I could treat myself to something. Um, maybe an item for my new wardrobe like a new bag or accessory, something like that. I think that would be fun and you know help to keep me motivated. I'll have to have a think about it. So I weighed myself last week and I will share my stats with you on the screen. I was 15 stone 13.4 pounds. Um, as you can see, I was a little bit lighter than the heaviest I've ever been, which is why you can see minus 4.2 to date. Um, but I just really wanted to take a screenshot so I'd got a starting point for this series. As you can see, my BMI and my body fat percentage is extremely high. So this really was a bit of a reality check for me to know that it's time to get serious about everything. Um, I do like these scales because it does give you a lot more information than just how much you weigh at the time. Um, so it also looks at your muscle mass, um, your subcutaneous fat, your visceral fat, lots of inf important KPIs really about your general health. Um, I will link my Amazon storefront in the description box and if you want to um, look at these scales you can click the link and shop for them through there if you want to. And I've weighed in again this morning, so I've just done my first full week on the Fast 800. I haven't watched my um, video from last year, but I imagine my experience was very similar. Um, the first few days were pretty rough. Um, getting used to the 800 calories is quite challenging, especially for me, because I used to eat quite a lot of volume. Um, so going down to smaller portions um, and also that sort of lower calories per day was 
quite difficult. Um, I did also experience headaches for a few days, but I was expecting this going in. I did have some paracetamol, um, you know, in preparation for that. Um, but once you get past that initial shock to the body, I think it's called keto flu, you do feel 10 times better after. Um, I'm now finding it's a lot easier to cope with the 800 calories. I think my body's adjusted now. So I'm not feeling as hungry as I was before. Headaches have completely gone now. Um, and I'm just starting to enjoy the process and feel a lot better. I'm not sluggish. I'm not bloated. Um, generally do feel much, much more healthy in myself, especially because it's only been, you know, a week, which is not long at all. One thing that really helped me out this week that I hadn't tried before is the Fast 800 shakes. Um, I picked mine up in the coffee flavour and the chocolate flavour, um, but they were quite nice. I made them in the Nutribullet. Um, if you make them with water, they're 200 calories a serving, but you can also make them with milk. Um, you can make them into smoothies, add fruit to them as well. There's quite a few ways you can use them. Um, but yeah, they weren't too bad and they were good for a quick meal if I was in a rush. Um, either first thing in the morning or at lunchtime if I was in between meetings and didn't have a lot of time to uh, make lunch they were an absolute lifesaver. Food wise I've just been cooking mainly out of the Fast 800 Easy Book. I think out of all of the books this one is probably my favourite and it's looking a bit grubby now there's a few like food splatters on here that I need to clean off but at least you can tell that it's well used. Um, I will share a couple of recipes that I particularly enjoyed this week. The first one is the cardamom chicken and this is so tasty, really really enjoyed it, I had mine with some green beans and broccoli um, but it's so nice to have really flavourful and tasty food on a diet, um, you don't just want to be eating plain food all the time, I mean once in a while is fine but you know over the long term it gets a bit repetitive um, and as I said before the reason that I went back to wanting to do the Fast 800 diet um, is because of how tasty the food is and it's very quick and easy to make which is another benefit for me because I don't have a lot of time. And the other one was the harissa baked cauliflower with roasted almonds and grapes. This recipe really surprised me because it's something that I never would have perhaps chosen to cook or try before. Um, I also like that it's a vegetarian dish. I am trying to eat some vegetarian meals uh, each week just because I think it's nice to have a break from meat as well um, but if you are vegetarian there are some really tasty recipes in here for you as well um, which I know can be challenging with some other eating plans and like the scales I will put this in the description box it will be in the fast 800 section of my Amazon storefront um, because I know that some of you do contact me to ask where I've picked things up from so now I've been on the plan for a week, I weighed myself again this morning and I will share my stats with you as I did before. Um, I'm now weighing 15 stone 5.8 pounds which is a loss of 7.6 pounds. I'm just absolutely ecstatic, I just can't get over um, what a drastic change can be made in seven short days. Um, I mean it's a substantial amount of weight to lose in a week but also I feel so much better within myself, I feel healthier, I've got more energy, I'm not bloated or sluggish. Um, it just is such a fantastic diet and makes such a difference. If we look at the results though, um, my BMI's come down as has my body fat percentage, subcutaneous fat, visceral fat, um, but also things that you want to improve have improved as well. So my lean muscle has gone up, protein's gone up, water has gone up. Um, so generally speaking, from last week's results to now, I would say that is you know, a drastic improvement for one week um, and I couldn't be happier about it. I'll be back next Sunday with my second weight loss diary video. I am going to try maybe doing a more vlog style video to see if you prefer that. Um, maybe show you some of the meals that I'm cooking when I'm exercising. Do some general check-ins throughout the day to tell you how I'm feeling as well. And we'll have a bit of trial and error um, and you guys can obviously tell me the style of video that you prefer. Um, but that's everything for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And as I said, if you're on a journey yourself or um, have 
you know maybe you're at the end of your weight loss journey and you're maintaining now i'd love to hear from you in the comments um but thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you on my next one enjoy the rest of your day